welcome back to my channel. Welcome to uh, Sewing Tuesday. I think this is episode 21, which is kind of crazy. Um, today we are going to work on and sew, like, I'm going to do this cover for a fall journal. I just love this fabric. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. So that's going to be the outside. That's good. This is going to be the inside. So we're going to put that together and sew it. And we're also going to work on pages and I'm going to show you how I use 12 by 12 paper and do a few um, pockets and stuff for it. So, but first let's glue this on so it can dry. And I'm just going to be using some Fabri Fix and I'm going to just put it on the whole thing. So this is a bag that I got that is like a eight and a half by eleven, I believe. Um, and I just bought a stock of them. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is. Now I will be sewing the edges and I'm going to just keep it frayed on the edges. We're going to cut some of it down, but it will be frayed on the edge. Okay, that is gorgeous. So... is going to be the front and because of how beautiful this front is I really don't think I'm going to do much with it except for maybe adding a like book plate of some sort and maybe some metal clamps on the corners well no not if it's frayed we're not doing that okay so let's So we're going to let this dry and then we'll do some sewing around the edges and trim it up. That is just, I just love this cover. Okay, so while we do that, we are going to work on paper. So some of these papers came from um, Arthika, I think is the name. I have no idea, but that's where it is. I have paper from this. This was from last year. Um, this is from SEI, which was a subscription box I did that I absolutely, oh my gosh, their paper is gorgeous. But most of this is regular paper. Those two pieces were cardstock. 
most are regular paper from this pad of paper that came from Joann's. Um, so I just picked out some and went to town. So um, the one thing I'm going to do is fold this really quick and we're going to get a measurement on this. It's not going to be exact, but that's okay. There it is. Yeah, about six, five and a half, six. So that would be, let's see, five and a half by eight and a half, I think. Okay, we're going to do it this way. So, yeah, it's about six inches, about five and a half, six. So we're going to do it with five and a half. And that goes up to eight and a half. All right. So we're going to cut these and score them and stuff at eight by about five and a half. Um, so let's get my cutter if I can grab it. So this is going to be one of the papers we use and when you're dealing with sectional like this is sectional so you want it to look like this you really don't want the paper like this because that'll look kind of weird so when you're doing that you want to make sure your eight um the width is going to be going to cut it down to 11 and that will give us about a five and a half so and if we need to trim it down a little bit more we'll trim it down a little bit more and then we want to go eight and a half but is what it is so I'm going to go a little under and I'm going between eight and a quarter and eight and a half that little notch right between the two and there is one page and then what we're going to do is trim this off We're going to score and glue this and this and then we're going to sew along here and this is going to be a page with two pockets. So I used to love to, um, I still do like doing mini albums and so I'm kind of throwing in things that I would do with a mini album into here. <laughs> So what we're going to do with this, these ones, is I'm going to do a couple different one, different styles. Um, I like when I'm doing a single signature like that, I, thought I do about 15 pages. And let's see, that gives us, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This gives us nine pages. So we'll be filling in with us some other stuff. Okay. So I'm going to cut this down at this is going to be one of our pages and then I'm not going to do the other, so what I'm going to do with this is just fold one side in. Um, 
we're gonna we're gonna eventually sew inside in and we're gonna sew this little part and that will give us a little pocket there a little tuck spot so I'm gonna do a couple of those Okay, while I cut these, I um, will just fast forward through this little part so you guys can see that. Okay, so I have some that are just regular eight and a half by 11. Okay, so I'm just going to randomly pick what size, how far in I want this. I think we're going to do it right there. And then we'll fold this in. So as you can see, it's a little bit smaller, but our pages don't have to be perfect like that. So then when we take it to the sewing machine, we are going to just sew right along here. And then we'll have a pocket. What I might do just to hold it so I know what we're doing is put a little bit of glue and it will dry before we get there. Especially if it's this top. There we go. Okay, so that one will be ready for sewing. And for these big ones, so what we're going to do is fold. I'm bringing in a huge <laughs> ruler and here we go so what I'm gonna do is we have our 11 by 12. okay so what I'm, I'm gonna and we are going to fold this up so it is about eight and a, right between eight and a half and eight and a quarter. And now we're going to fold it in half this way. Gosh, I really folded that cruddy. Look at that. Or cut it bad. I don't know which. 
going to recut the top. I folded this end right wrong. That's the problem. I wonder if I can do that. That didn't work. Don't do it that way. Unless you're way better at this than I know. Which is totally fine. So I am just going to lightly eight and a half. Yeah, see, I had it off just a tad. I know I'm folding this the wrong way than what it normally is, but that's okay. take our bone folder and squish these down so the next step because we don't want this bulk right here at least I don't want that bulk when I'm sewing in this signature so I am just literally going to give it a trim down and on the other side So when we sew this one, and yeah, those are upside down. The only way, you're either going to have this upside down or these upside down. And because we could decorate these, I'm not too worried about that. So what we're going to do is sew along here, along, over, and up. So I'm going to put this in the sewing pile. Okay, so here's another one. We're going to see if we can do this the right way this time. So we are going to score at eight and a half. And because this is paper, I'm very doing very little, little pressure. And again, I folded it the wrong way. Oh so well. So I'm gonna I guess you can have it that way if you want. But. Okay, so I'm going to put some. Now we're going to even that up. Again, boom. We're going to get that down. And then we're going to open this up and do our cut. So I'm just kind of going right on the edge of that line. On both sides, not overly over. But it's enough that when we, and I will probably glue these down. Um, no. No, we'll sew them. We can totally sew those pockets. Okay. This is just a regular card stock and I'm just marking where I want to score. Yeah. I'm scoring it at the same place. I think we might be done with this scoring board. Thank you. 
So we're going to sew along here and that will So what I'm going to do though is get glue on this We're going to do the same. And this, what, what it'll do to help is help it buckle so you don't wind up having that, those, having a buckle in there. There we go. Now, if you don't want to sew these, don't glue them down. They'll work just as well. I just, um, I like the look of them sewed. So what I'm going to do with these ones is... I'm going to do a double pocket um, and we'll do it on the inside. So, I need it that big. So I'm going to fold this over so it will give it, because it is paper, so this will give it some stability. So let's glue that. I'm just going to fold this over straight in half. I'm not going to bother. Sewing, um, gluing this one because it's in half. It doesn't matter. But we want a good crease. So let's get our bone folder out and crease this edgy. And there will be our double pocket. Okay, so I am going to get the sewing machine. The other ones we're going to leave as it is. And I will be right back. Okay. 
Okay, so we are back and we are going to start with this and I'm going to do a zigzag around it. And I have this orange thread. It's kind of a metallic-y look that I thought would look really cool with it. And of course there's just white on the bottom because I just did not want to do my threading. Do redo it. So what I'm doing is checking where that is at and it's right in here. So we are just going to zigzag it. And while I'm sewing, I am feeling right on that edge so I know I'm on the edge of the paper. And we're going to trim this down so it's even, but we're just going to let it rag. So I'm going to fast forward this part so you guys can watch this. That is going to be beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to sew these. And I'm going to... I didn't glue these ones down, but that's okay. Okay, so I have this folded up, so um, when I'm sewing it, because I did not glue it, to make sure it's not going to buckle weird. Like this is going to, I'm going to have to trim some of this off, but that's okay. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going down, up, and over.
So with this one, I'm going to be going down, over, up, then that way. So here we go. We got this one and this one. I just love these. This, like, I need to clean up. <laughs> My bobbin ran out. See, you just have a little tuck, which I love these. Okay, so. I purposely, and I'm not going to use this in my journal because look how wonky that is. Look how it folds. It's very bubbly. It's it's very, I wanted to show you guys what not to do. Like, I have had a successful double pocket. <laughs> but um, this one was glued. So it folds really nice. It lays really nice. This one was not glued. So when you do these double pockets, you really are going to want to glue them. So, I'm just going to rip this part. Throw that little part away, and this will be used for something else. So, and here is this. So, we are just going to take our... Actually, I'm going to bring in this. And... We're going to cut these edges a little. We're just going to um, clean them up. So, let's see, we're going to go right there. So what I'm doing is I'm checking to make sure my sew line is even. And I'm just going to slice that little bit off. And 
and do the same down here just going to go right on that sew line Just a tad. Well, that didn't want to work. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and we're going to move this one over and just clean it up again. And some is just a really sliver compared to what others are, which it's, you know, it works. This is gonna be an adorable cover. Here we go. Lots of threads. <laughs> and then these will just fit nicely in there. So Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is going to be, oh, I'm going to have to make more with these covers. I love this. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you um, want to see anything specific, let me know. And thank you for following me. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fabulous day and that you stay healthy and safe and know that you're wonderful. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.